Hi, I'm Jamie Vaudry from the University of Connecticut with the Department of Marine Sciences, and I do a lot of work on Long Island Sound and the very shallow areas of the sound, uh, our harbors and bays that people first encounter when they come down to the water. We are here at Little Narragansett Bay at the mouth of the Pocatuck River by the Barn Island Marsh, and I'm here with two of my students, uh, Corey Leamy and Amanda Dosty, who are uh, at the University of Connecticut. Today we're working on a project uh, examining or looking at embayments throughout Long Island Sound and we're comparing about 10 embayments, uh, six along the Connecticut coast and four over on Long Island. And we're looking to see where eutrophication is occurring. And eutrophication is a state where a system is getting too much nutrients and, um, and it's changing the water quality for the worse. So as part of the embayment project, we're looking for indicators of water quality issues. We go out and we collect water, so we're looking at the nutrients that are in the water. Uh, we analyze the water to find out how much nutrients are in the water. But a lot of those nutrients are taken up by the organisms that live in the environment. So the nutrients in the water can look really low, even in systems where there may be a problem. So we look for other things. We look for macroalgae, which is what we're out doing today, uh, looking to see how much macroalgae is there, is it all one type. And then the other big indicator for us is oxygen in the water column. The low oxygen is bad because all of these organisms need oxygen to breathe, or the ones that we care about as humans need oxygen to breathe. So it's the fish, the crabs, the oysters, the clams, but also the macroalgae and the seagrass need oxygen as well, even though they also produce it. The things that survive when you don't have oxygen tend to be your bacteria and your jellyfish, and they can handle really low oxygen environments, and that's why in those poor water quality areas we start to see not much else uh, other than bacteria and jellyfish in these systems. And as part of the project, we're also modeling the nitrogen load to these systems. So we're looking at the land use in the watersheds and estimating the amount of nitrogen reaching the water. Uh, and the modeling lets us identify the sources of nitrogen uh, that are being sent down to the embayments so that we can then look at ways to reduce that nitrogen input and then improve the water quality of the sound.